First on five, a trial four years in the making finally gets underway. John DeBlaze is accused of murdering his two young children in 2010. His wife will stand trial separately. While the prosecution is seeking the death penalty, the defense is saying he was just a weak man in love with a terrible woman. News 5's Chad Petrie joins us live from Government Plaza, where opening statements wrapped up this afternoon. Chad? Well, Roseanne, no matter how you look at this case, John DeBlaze is either guilty of murdering his two children or he's guilty of not having a backbone. The prosecution claims he's guilty of killing his two young children with his bare hands to end their suffering. But the defense lays out a picture where DeBlaze didn't stand up to the woman who was torturing and murdering his kids. In opening arguments today, District Attorney Ashley Rich said the deaths of four-year-old Natalie and three-year-old Chase DeBlaze were a real-life horror movie. Rich contends it was John DeBlaze who killed both his children with his bare hands, while his girlfriend Heather Keaton enacted her own form of harsh discipline on the children. Both sides agree Heather Keaton, who's not on trial, did horrible things to a pair of innocent kids. Natalie DeBlaze died on March 4, 2010. Keaton wrapped her in duct tape and stuffed the child alive in a duffel bag. Rich claims DeBlaze killed Natalie to end her suffering. Six months later, Keaton tried to discipline three-year-old Chase DeBlaze for failing at potty training. Keaton duct taped him to a broom and left him against a wall. Rich says John DeBlaze smothered his son. The defense seems intent on laying the murders entirely at the hands of Heather Keaton. They claim she poisoned the children to break their spirits and killed the kids herself. Each time she convinced him it was an accident. The defense says DeBlaze would never stand up to Keaton's harsh discipline because he was in love. The defendant kept his head down most of the time as lawyer Glenn Davidson laid out a version of events where DeBlaze thought his girlfriend was doing the right thing and claimed the deaths were accidents. The children's bodies were found with just bones left behind because they had been out in the woods for months before being discovered. The prosecution admits there is no forensic evidence tying DeBlaze to the crime, just his own words. Now, the defense argues those so-called confessions came from inmates with less than reliable track records. It appears that much of this trial will center around a woman who's not even here, Heather Keaton. Much of the time was spent talking about what she may or may not have done to these two children. The trial itself is expected to last at least three weeks or more. Reporting live in Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5.